No, no, don't do that. I know, I fucked up. What are you being stupid for? Trying to break stuff already? Yeah. Geez, I just got done fixing all these heads <laughs> for you, and you're trying to break them. Okay. Give me one. Mm. Boom. There we go. Box goes down. Studs go the opposite way. Give me two. There you go. No damage. You want to keep them dry, you put this on top. You need some tape, it's over there in the front of the cable, and you tape the thing shut and it's firmly shut. Alright. Good deal. Okay, we're going to look at these cylinders real quick and see what's going on with these things. Okay, so let's see. The wrist pins have been fitted, I think, already. Because I see hone marks inside the bore. Yep. There we go. Appear to fit like they're supposed to now. Get the crap worn off. Oh, it's got one burr or something there. Doesn't like going in from that direction. That's weird. Looks good this way. Hmm. But it didn't like coming this way. Okay, this has the circlip style, not spirals. This appears to be the rear one. Okay. These appear to be the correct size in here. Yeah, I think it would be pretty loose. Okay, the mics are in the top drawer over there. I can measure them real quick and double check. Get over there. Alright. Not three and a quarter bore. It's a good thing. One, about one and three quarter. So yeah, good match. Okay. That's what you want them to be. Okay, this is the rear one. Okay. Twenty and a half is the number on the piston. That's the number on the mic when you measure it. Okay, so I measure them, they fit, so these are not mismatched, and because the paperwork says to, uh, 60 over, 70 over main, we got 60 over pistons, and for some reason we got 70 over rings that I filed to fit, probably because they were 70 over and not 60. That'd be my guess. They are filed, until they've been cut, see, right on the edge. They're not for this motor. <laughs> They've been filed just for a regular bike. Okay, so the rings are not going to fly. So we'll get you the correct ring set, which would be standard 80 or 60 or 74, depending on what number you want to use. This is the 80 inch number. So these are definitely not the right rings. The pistons are good. Double check the back, the front one just to make sure also. Yep, feel good. Clips are in the thing here. Okay. Make sure they're tight in the piston when you're down. If they're not, they're no good. Okay. And these have all been honed for quick install. So once I put them in the piston, make sure, try to like uh, twist them and... Do you want to put these up on here real quick to keep the ship from getting in? Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, I need uh, four nuts at least. All right. And these still have to be all cleaned yet, but just wipe them out and make sure there's no loose dirt in here.
There's the board finish we use. Remember, these are dirty, so we still have to clean these all up. I just don't like open motors. Not good. I'm not putting the clips in there. I'm just going to put the pistons on the rods and slip in the hole. Have a problem here. These pistons are never filed on the edge for clearance, so you're probably going to hit. Okay. They put a they put a chamfer right here on the edge because the pistons come down to the bottom and they tag each other when they start hitting. About okay. 50 on up, they start to get where they hit. So we're at 60 and 70 definitely hits hard. 60 is probably right there hitting on. So just take a file on whichever one you want to put on the, you know, which direction you want to turn it. Yeah. Put a little chamfer on both the front and the rear piston right here. Okay. Just go down about halfway through the skirt here. Yeah. And just, that'll be fine. Okay. You can double check by turning the motor over. It doesn't click. You went straight through. You're fine. Okay. But uh, I don't know why. These are so old they didn't do it on the line. Probably because they're old. Where go? So this stuff's all needs to be cleaned and scrutinized a little. Melted glue and shit on here. So my shiner I got real quick. Yep. There it goes. Purrs on there or something. No, not bird. It's got package of crap on there. Gotta wear it down, see? It's the glue stuff. All right, so like I said, it doesn't really matter which one's front or rear. The pockets are equal. There's no offset. You can put okay. the button left or right. I've done it both ways. It's just whichever way I'm going to set them, do the... Whichever way you're going to do it, chamfer the edge a little bit. So chamfer that back side and then the front side of the other one? Correct. Okay. You can either cut all the front one, I mean all the back one, I mean, or you can cut the both of them. Okay. Yeah, losing a little bit of skirt on either one's not going to hurt you. Okay. So you just put the dimple, I forget what side the dimple goes on, I never remember. No, it's right or left, it, it doesn't matter, the <laughs> there's no difference in the pistons. Do whatever you want. You know, I've had the ones where they had different pockets on there, they still had the dimples where they were, one was one, you had to have one the other way, but the bow pocket. I don't know why these even bother, but they do. Okay, this is your front one, so it goes over here. So if you go all the way down, you can really see where it comes out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Camera over here and see. See where the pistons get, come way down there? Yeah. They overlap. Now the overlap point's not here. There's overlaps up here where they're both coming together, but you see how they get real close to each other. Okay. So that's why you have to channel for that sucker. Because um, your overlap's going to be about here. It's not going to be way at the bottom. Okay. So don't go cutting the whole half side of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do just a little bit off the corner. Yeah, don't cut that whole corner way. Yeah. You know, the rods, is, this rod is still way up here, see? Yeah. <laughs> it ain't got down there yet. So probably but, about... But about there... Like there, yeah. they come together. So they're about equal height now, see? Okay. That's where they're going to tag each other. So just, uh, you know, just adjust it. Yeah. I don't know which way you want to put the piston in there, otherwise I'll just do it right now, but it's no big deal. Yeah. You know, 50 thou is all you need right here. Probably 30 would do it, but 50 is definitely all you need. It only needs to be right in the just center. Just right at the very edge. all the way around. Just need right in the middle. Right in the center, right at the edge, okay. Just need to right where my thumb is right here is where they're going to hit. Okay. So I'm going to say they come down to hit each other. Got it. I'll go grab another piston. I'll show you when it's been cut. But okay. 
they get pretty aggressive on a piston these days on how big the chamfers are. But they don't need to be that much. Now you want to do some upgrade on the gaskets on these two, you said? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy the, the upgraded ones for the okay. base and the top. Okay, what do you got for nuts? These ones here? Yeah. <clears throat> these ones here so you can't put them down all at once. Ooh. Yeah. You got to lift them up? Okay. You have to work them down. They might bottom out of threads too, but okay. Because you have 80 inch studs here, and these are so they're a little bit longer. Yes, but these might they might go in that far. Okay. Looks like they're gonna make it. No. Nope. Not quite. Here's the thickness of a washer. That was maybe a little more of a thickness of a washer on that one. Well, okay. you with a gasket and a washer, you'd probably be fine. All right. Now I can save some little stainless A-in washers going here, so you don't do any trimming. Okay. I'll put something like that in there. Or do you want to take a or shorten the step a little bit and put a shoulder in it? Um. No. I'd I rather not be do too much grinding on this. I think things. we should be good with uh, with the with those washers, right? They should be able to fit. You don't have to run those. No. No. Oh, okay. I don't like those big piece of crap on there. Oh, all right. So maybe just throw some, like you said, just some main in washers right underneath them. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that then. It's still gonna be close, but you gotta make sure to fork down without bottoming out. Okay. These, but these are the in washers there. They're only that thick, they're not real thick. See, without the gasket, you still don't have enough. Yeah, so with the gasket and that, probably right at there almost. Yeah, you're gonna be right there. Probably just be better to use this. And then you can put those big ugly triangle pieces in there if you want. I've been known to modify things now. <laughs> Just a matter what you want to use on them. Okay. So I never like the looks of them stupid triangle things, so give me one of them. I always work around stuff I don't like. I don't really <laughs> do anything anyway, so yeah. that cylinder's plenty thick enough to not need any more support. Okay. Come up, but it goes down easy. <laughs> and don't forget to put your bolt up in here before you put the nut on, too. Okay. Because it will not clear that stud. Two more. Backwards. I don't see the up, but that's how it was before. We gotta put this head bolt in before the cylinder's done. Yeah. Out. Yeah, and that's the one that you put in, and then you put the clothespin in to hold it? Yep. Keeps it out of the way. And I'll get comments about, oh, you didn't put no gaskets in it! <laughs> You left two nuts <laughs> off. <clears throat> Dumbass. Call a mock up. See the acorn ones, you can roll a wrench in there. Uh huh. And the cap nut one, it's a little bit harder. Plus, the wrench has been trimmed a lot anyway. 
And that'll keep most of the junk out. It's not gonna keep lit water out because it's, there's no rings, but yeah. it keeps most of the crap out of there. Yeah, everything's gonna get put together tomorrow. Let's see. So anyway, it looks a lot better that way. Leave the heads off because they just get in the way, but okay. this works pretty easy. All right, that's about it for that. So when you get it to be done, let me know if there's any problems and I'll help you where you need to help you. I will do. Okay, where's the clips at? I'm gonna need these. So don't lose those. And then we gotta grab another set of rings. I gotta get you a set of rings. We can probably stuff these in a ring box so you won't lose them. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> That is it for this job now. We're gonna he's gonna finish it up and then send us lots of videos and riding it down the road. Yeah, right. I'll believe that when I see it. Alright, that's it for now.